Hey guys, chances are that you've heard about the Super Guru skincare ingredient, which supposedly has a solution to all your skincare problems. I'm talking about tretinoin. But then, if you haven't, tretinoin is a derivative of vitamin A, which plays a great multitask in skincare, ranging from um, providing lot of lasting solutions to acne, helping with fine lines, wrinkles, preventing the signs of aging, fading hyperpigmentation, getting rid of dark spots, eliminating the look of huge humongous pores, giving you a smooth glass glowing skin that everyone wants. So it sounds good, yeah? Well, today's video covers some of the tretinoin mistakes that you need to avoid in order to reap all of these benefits that I have just listed. So let's get into it. Now, there are three things that we're going to be covering in today's video. Number one is whether or not tretinoin is for you. Number two is how to properly use tretinoin in order to reap the benefits. And then number three are mistakes that you need to avoid while using tretinoin. If you have sensitive skin, tretinoin is not for you. I am so sorry, it is not for you. Now, let's pause here for a second because some people don't even know whether or not their skin is sensitive. Now. I'm just going to explain it to you very very simply if your skin easily reacts negatively to skincare for instance you apply a skincare product and tomorrow you wake up with a rash or you apply a skincare product and you have like excessive burning sensations or you wake up with like acne and your skin is flaring up yep you have sensitive skin okay so it's just a simple way of telling you that whenever your skin rejects the use of a product or when your skin does not agree with a lot of things especially things that are like heavy duty that are high strength like acids actives and routines and all of that stuff then you definitely have a sensitive skin and you want to tread carefully with using like heavy active or heavy duty skincare products so if you have sensitive skin tretinoin is not for you but don't worry i got you just make sure you watch this video till the end now, number two if you have existing rashes or irritation or acne that you're still dealing with or skincare conditions that make your skin sensitive tretinoin is not for you it might be for you in the future but at that time when you're dealing with all the skincare ish tretinoin is absolutely not for you you do not want to start your tretinoin treatment or apply tretinoin on a skin that is already broken on or a skin that is dealing with skincare conditions that could trigger sensitivity that could burn that could hurt that is because the use of tretinoin actually comes with a lot of baggages it comes with a lot of side effects it comes with things that could trigger your skin to you know look different to feel different to act differently and so you want to apply tretinoin on a very healthy skin or you know a skin that is actually good to go now that we've been able to establish whether or not tretinoin is for you let's get into how you can use tretinoin to achieve a glowing glass beautiful smooth radiant even skin i know that's what you guys have been waiting for now the very first thing that you need to do even before you start using tretinoin is to get a prescription yes you need a prescription to use tretinoin if you live in nigeria i know that tretinoin is um not as difficult to get okay there are so many people including myself i have made that mistake who actually just go to the store you can actually get tretinoin over the counter or even in like beauty supply stores in nigeria okay this makes tretinoin easily accessible to people however it kind of promotes the abuse of tretinoin tretinoin is a drug okay and it needs it requires prescription the reason why it requires prescription are for like i think three basic things number one for you to be able to get the strength that actually suits your skin secondly for you to get a brand that is effective and that is that has you know other ingredients that will suit your skin and then thirdly for your skincare provider to know if indeed you actually need to use tretinoin at that time in your skincare routine okay if your skin is okay and ready to use tretinoin so these are the three reasons why you definitely need a prescription before you start to use tretinoin now you've started using tretinoin you want to start slowly you don't want to apply tretinoin on your skin every single night because you want to see sharp sharp results you want to glow you want to slay okay you want to pepper them young you want to make sure that you start slowly start with once a week depending on your skin sensitivity personally i advise once a week once a week is good if you start with once a week and you see that 
um, your skin adheres to it fine, your skin is not, you know, flaring up, then you can upgrade to twice a week. And then the more your skin gets familiar with it, then you can upgrade three times a week. The goal of tretinoin is actually to get really comfortable to the point where you can use it every day or at least four to five, five times a week, depending on what your skin can handle. There are people who use it every day. There are people who use it three times a week and they are fine. There are people who use it four times a week and they are fine. So it depends on what your skin can handle, but then start slow. Also, another thing that you want to do when using tretinoin is to make sure that you're using a hydrating, a gentle cleanser in your routine, okay? Obviously, you want to wash your face before you apply your tret or even any of your skincare products. Now, make sure that you're washing your face with a very gentle cleanser. Don't use a salicylic acid-based cleanser, a glycolic acid-based cleanser, or even a retinol-based cleanser an exfoliant, things like that, anything that could trigger your skin sensitivity, do not use those things on your skin before you apply tretinoin. You want to start on, you want to prep your skin and make sure that your skin is like really, really healthy, really, really soft. Like you just want your skin to be like really comfortable before you apply tretinoin. After you wash your skin, the next thing you want to do is to go in with a hydrating, um toner or serum or essence whichever one you choose use something that contains soothing ingredients just to prep your skin and calm your skin before you apply tretinoin now the goal is not to apply tretinoin right after you apply your hydrating product you want to wait for at least 10 minutes or depending on when your skin dries down and absorbs the product completely before you go in with tretinoin okay now i want you to use the sandwich method because ordinarily you're supposed to apply tretinoin like right after you wash your skin you're supposed to go in with your tread okay on dry skin but then this sandwich method is going to help you just create a barrier between your skin and the tretinoin just so that the tretinoin is not like absorbing directly into your skin it's not absorbing fast and whatnot just so that you know it penetrates like easily slowly and just gives your time your skin time to absorb it so you want to make sure that you are applying some sort of barrier it could even be like a hydrating moisturizer before you apply the tread but the goal is to give it time whatever it is that you're using before tretinoin make sure that you're giving it time to absorb into your skin 10 minutes or depending on when your skin dries down before you follow in with tretinoin. Now, number three is for you to use a pea size amount. Okay, a very teeny tiny amount. Trust me, tretinoin is not one of those serums that you want to slather on your skin. Like you want to put a lot. I am heavy handed with skincare, okay? But when it comes to using tretinoin, I'm like, I have to constantly remind myself that this is a heavy duty product that could worsen my skin condition if i don't take care so you always have to have that at the back of your mind that this thing that you're putting on your skin could either make or break your skin depending on how you use it so you want to tread carefully apply a pea size amount it's still going to work okay don't worry it's going to work now after applying your tretinoin you want to make sure you're sealing with another moisturizer that is the sandwich method a moisturizer before and then a moisturizer after so it's good that you apply a moisturizer after you apply tretinoin but then the goal is after you apply your tretinoin again give it a few minutes to sink into your skin before you go ahead and apply your moisturizer on top of it now at this point if you have like a facial oil something to hydrate your skin and to pamper your skin then you can go ahead and apply it or a facial balm i love to use facial balms on my skin because they kind of help soothe potential irritation or existing irritations depending on what the case may be so make sure that you're applying a moisturizer something like really really rich on your skin though so that your skin is not dried out or irritated because tretinoin actually has the potential to dry out your skin now that we've gotten how to use tretinoin out of the way let's get into the mistakes that you need to avoid while using tretinoin starting with buying tretinoin over the counter okay i made this mistake okay i went and i got a tretinoin over the counter i think it cost me like five thousand naira. i was in nigeria then and it did my skin shaggy okay it ruined my skin my skin has never looked this bad in my entire life like this is the first i have actually seen my skin okay and i regretted ever doing that and the second mistake that you should totally avoid while using tretinoin is using tretinoin with other active in in your routine using other actives meaning vitamin c 
um, of course, unless the tretinoin has vitamin C infused in it, that's different. But like from a different brand, you want to avoid that. Unless, of course, on separate times in your skincare routine. So you could use vitamin C in the morning, a gentle one, and then you could use your tretinoin at night. But having vitamin C and tretinoin in the same routine is not the best thing to do. Also, you want to avoid using um, salicylic acid. You want to avoid using glycolic acid. Anything that is going to exfoliate your skin, but in zoal peroxide, things that are like super um, intense, heavy duty, you want to avoid using them in the same routine as tretinoin. However, you can use a niacinamide serum in your routine, in the same routine with um, tretinoin because niacinamide kind of like helps to, you know, mitigate the harshness of tretinoin. It kind of helps to calm the skin. However, you should make sure that you're using a niacinamide serum that is gentle because niacinamide is also known to trigger the skin. So you want to tread carefully. Use something that is gentle and something that is not high strength. Probably like a five, four or five percent niacinamide is good. Even two percent is fine, honestly speaking. Just so that you have it there in your routine to help you, you know, mitigate whatever harshness that comes with using tretinoin. The but third mistake that you should avoid while using tretinoin is not wearing sunscreen. You have to wear your sunscreen when you are on tretinoin okay even if you're not on tretinoin you need your sunscreen when you are on tretinoin you if you need it even more okay this is because tretinoin makes your skin more sensitive okay and so you don't want to step into the sun while you're trying to treat sun damage you're trying to treat your sunburn you're trying to treat melasma you're trying to treat your dark spots your pigmentation so it doesn't even make sense for you to step into the sun while treating you're just going to waste your tretinoin you're going to waste your time you're going to trigger your skin you're going to cause more harm than good because you're going to get reverse effects okay so what's going to happen is your skin is going to get darker your skin is going to get more irritated your skin is going to burn you're going to peel more it can even get itchy and just a mess okay so please make sure that you always use your sunscreen while on tretinoin now the fourth mistake that you should avoid and this one I'm speaking from a personal experience is do not avoid the red flags when using tretinoin now if you remember in the beginning i said tretinoin is not for everybody that is where the red flags come in now i know that there is a waiting period like there's a period where you experience dryness you experience the side effects generally of using tretinoin peeling irritation and whatnot however these side effects are not supposed to be excessive and they're not supposed to last for like a very long time let's say one two three months is enough time for your skin to start adjusting okay you're supposed to start seeing little little improvements okay in your irritation okay with the side effects that come uh, with using tretinoin however if the side effects are prolonged or if they are excessive like your skin is burning so badly that you cannot tolerate it please drop the tretinoin i beg you this is not one skincare ingredient that you want to say oh i'm going to i'm going to suck it in i'm going to pull through okay it's going to get better no it's actually going to get worse you do not want to ignore the side effects you do not want to ignore the red flags that is something that i did i started using tretinoin like a couple of months ago and as of right now as of today i have actually dropped it okay i'm no longer using tretinoin and i have switched back to retinol which is um a you know lesser version and a you know less irritating version compared to tretinoin retinol also has its own red flags it also has its own irritations and whatnot but then compared to tretinoin it is not as serious as tretinoin okay if you don't want to drop it you can actually stop it for a while until your skin recuperates back and then you can now slowly you know um, start using the tretinoin again you can start introducing it back into your routine if you do so and then you still experience those red flags it's just a sign that tretinoin is not for you and it's okay there's so many other beautiful alternatives that you could use and get similar results you could use retinol you could start with you know a very very mild version of retinol or you could use other deriving you could use retinol dehyde a good serum that i recommend for people who are just starting you know into retinol or people that have like super sensitive skin is the sun by me retinol treatment it's fantastic it is great 
for people who are just starting it is gentle less irritating okay you want to start with that or you could actually start with the one with from CeraVe it's also gentle okay on the skin there are other brands as well that I'm going to be leaving on the screen for you and in the description box if you are interested make sure that you check them out but the point is retinol um tretinoin is not by force okay there are people who actually you know use it and they enjoy using it and there are other people who unfortunately do not have any luck with using tretinoin and that is okay use retinol use other derivatives of vitamin a and your skin will be just fine as long as you have a solid routine you have good skincare products good skincare ingredients in your routine trust me you would have a beautiful glowing skin just as someone who is using tretinoin so don't be too hard on yourself about it so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you've learned you know how to use tretinoin and some of the mistakes like i said that you need to avoid while using tretinoin and i hope that from this video you can actually decide if tretinoin is for you or not thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you currently using tretinoin what has been your journey and if you have any questions please make sure to leave them in the comments below i'll be sure to answer them for you guys and i'll see you in my next video until then have a great life i love you guys bye